Hey guys, this is Peter from Bill Boeing, and uh, this is a video of today's project, a sound panel, an audio panel for the eyebrow window, and actually there are two panels, so it's for the eyebrow windows. Reason I made these, uh, a friend of mine came over a few weeks ago and we had a flight uh, on VATSIM, and so we both had to listen to the ATC, and um, in order to do this, I used a Y splitter like this, the earplugs from my iPhone and my own headset. And so this was way too loud, this was way too low in volume, uh, wasn't able to hear anything using the headset. And this was so loud that you couldn't actually have them in your ears. So, I made this. This is for the captain's side and this is for the first officer's side. Both panels have a microphone input and a speaker output for the headset. So you plug your headset into these two jacksticks. You can see here in the back, there's a jackstick there and a jackstick there. And here is a potentiometer which acts as volume control. Over here you have the same volume control here for the headset over here. You might be able to hear the music get louder when I turn it up. And then I turn it down again. Right, so this is volume control for the headset output. This one, when I was making this, I thought, oh, okay, two, two headsets would be nice, but actually what would, would be very nice would be a set of speakers in the cockpit as well. So now I had a, a to have an exit sound, exit for one set of uh, headset, second pair of headset for the co-pilot, and a set of speakers. And then for three, three outputs divided with a normal output from computer probably wasn't gonna work. So I bought this board here, which is an amplifier, and it will be around $5 on eBay. Um, what it does is, of course, it amplifies the sound that comes in here, right now just radio from the computer, comes in here, gets 12 volts, and then delivers an amplified signal. And so the amplified signal goes down here in this board that just goes from input over here to output, and these two wires here, the orange and the yellow, is connected to the potentiometer down here where I can control the volume. Ten pots should be, uh, right now I'm using 1K, that was what I had. It's not enough, so you should get 2Ks if possible, or 1.5, two would probably be best. So there's one here for a headset, one for speakers. And then, so the sound comes in over here, is taken here down to uh, the part potentiometer up again and then continues over here to the exits where I have one for um, a headset here on the right and on the left there two for speakers and so you can see one of the speakers here that arrived today and this the speakers are 10 watt at 10 watt at 8 um, resistor of 8 ohm so they should be powerful enough, and you can see when I turn up the volume here. More than sufficient. More than sufficient for having ATC in the cockpit. This is version one, one um, with an input here for um, the microphone, and it continues here on a... Um, wire with a jackstick in the end that then can connect to there. This white one here can then connect to the computer. What I like to do in a version 2 is a relay that uh, switches between this one and this one depending on what side of the cockpit that presses the, the push to talk button. So if it's a captain that wants to talk, this signal will come to the computer and if it's the first officer, this one will come to the computer. Right now I'm going to use this infamous Y splitter and um, plug both microphones into the computer using this, but it's probably not going to work. So in version 2, a relay um, and that should be even cooler. But right now this is just going to be awesome having A to C in the, in the speakers and in the headset at the same time. So I'm very much looking forward to installing this tomorrow. Right now, time for one of these, beer, the speeder from Bella Blow. You guys take care. Bye-bye.